When you start a weight loss journey, it's like this mental list of forbidden foods suddenly appears in your mind. All these foods that you think you can't have because you are now on a weight loss or a wellness journey. But the truth is that a lot of these forbidden foods that you thought you couldn't have actually are supportive of a weight loss goal. It could even make achieving a weight loss goal easier. Let's dive into it. My name's Autumn. I'm a certified clinical nutritionist with my master's in nutrition, human performance, and today's video is sponsored by Thrive Market. More on them in a bit. Okay, the first forbidden food is cheese. Now, cheese has commonly been thought of as just a high fat food that if you are looking to achieve a weight loss goal, you need to cut. But researchers have actually been on record stating there's almost no evidence that cheese causes weight gain. In fact, there's evidence that it's neutral at worst. Basically, there's a lot of meta-analysis and studies showing that cheese either has zero impact on weight loss goals, meaning adding it and removing it didn't really impact weight, or it could even be mildly helpful for a weight loss goal. This is probably because cheese is a great source of both protein and fat, both of which help to raise our satiety hormones and tell our brain we're full and we're satisfied and we don't need to keep eating. It's a really great natural way to help our body to not eat beyond its needs. The caveat is how cheese is eaten, because at least here in the US, some of the main ways that we eat cheese is on cheese pizza, is on sandwiches, sandwiches or nachos. Cheese is often paired with highly processed and refined grain products. And it's these highly processed grain products that make it so easy to eat beyond our body's needs. And I'm realizing it might sound like I'm saying knees, like your knees. I mean needs, as in what you need. <laughs> Another example would be like cheese and crackers. Again, combining that highly processed type of carbohydrate with cheese. But if you're eating some slices of manchego or aged cheddar along with your meal, this is a completely different experience than having it melted on some chips. So assuming that cheese is not eaten in a way that could spike that addictive spiral, then it could actually be beneficial or at the very least make achieving a weight loss goal more enjoyable. At the very least, research is showing that it doesn't hurt and it just tastes so dang good. <laughs> the second is burgers. Now, just like cheese, burgers eaten in the way that we usually eat them can be problematic. And that's when we combine burger patties with the highly refined buns and then pair that with a bunch of fries, maybe a soda or milkshake for good measure. But the burger patties and all the flavorings that go along with that are not actually problematic. In fact, they are very helpful for achieving a weight loss goal. In fact, throughout my whole 20 pound postpartum weight loss journey, I ate multiple burgers a week. They were some of my favorite things to have. I would even put cheese on top, sometimes some bacon, always pair it with a really good crunchy lettuce bun, some zero sugar ketchup. It was so good. Ground beef that burgers are made from, or even ground turkey or ground chicken, however you like your burgers, are extremely extremely high in protein. And protein is needed to help prevent muscle loss during a weight loss journey, which helps to make sure that the metabolism doesn't drastically drop while losing weight. Eating high quality sources of protein, like with burgers, also helps to prevent hunger and cravings, again, making a weight loss goal so much easier to achieve. The key is just to not pair it with really high glycemic load foods. So instead of having like the traditional fries and the bun, you could have a really delicious crunchy lettuce bun. This is where iceberg lettuce is the game changer. It's so crunchy and so refreshing and so good. I make my burger patties by adding garlic powder, paprika, onion powder, and Worcestershire sauce before I throw it on the grill. So flavorful and so satisfying. In fact, a lot of the toppings that I use on my burgers, like the unsweetened ketchup and the Dijon mustard, can actually be found with today's sponsor, Thrive Market. Thrive Market is an awesome online membership-based grocery store, and they're on a mission to make healthy living as easy and accessible and affordable as possible. Plus, they're delivered directly to your door, making your life so much easier. I'm a new mom, and I don't always have time to go to the grocery store, so having Thrive Market delivered directly to my door just saves me so much time. You can save on every order on high quality brands like the unsweetened Primal Kitchen's ketchup on Thrive Market's website or on its app. And if you happen to find the price lower somewhere else, Thrive Market will match the price, always guaranteeing you the lowest price. And orders over $49 have free shipping. One of my favorite things about Thrive Market is that they have these filters to help you discover different brands that fit your dietary preferences or needs. So if you're plant-based or keto or you're gluten-free or you're opting for grass-fed, then you can mark these off to make sure that you choose brands that fit your needs. This is actually how I came across my new favorite bread brand, Base Culture. I was just browsing through Thrive Market and it popped up and now I love it. <laughs> you can even have access to foods that you might not be able to find at your local grocery store, all while saving money in the process. And many of the items I'm sharing today can be found on Thrive Market to make eating high quality foods that support your goals so much easier. And right now you can join Thrive Market today to get 30% off your first order, plus a free gift valued up to $60. So make sure to head over to thrivemarket.com forward 
forward slash Autumn Bates for 30% off your first order. I'll also have the link down description below so you don't miss out. Okay, the third is avocado or guacamole. A lot of people also assume that this should be skipped because it is a high fat food, but just like the cheese and just like the burgers, it's not necessarily the avocado that's the issue, but it's how we often eat it. Namely with a lot of chips. I myself am guilty of this. <laughs> chips are incredibly high glycemic load, which means they cause a huge spike and crash in our blood sugar levels, cause us to be hungry really quickly and crave more and more food. That is why it's so easy to go through two bowls of tortilla chips at a Mexican restaurant before your meal even comes out. I have been there. <laughs> but avocado or guacamole even on its own is actually an amazing source of high quality fat and fiber to help boost satiety and prevent cravings. As long as it's not eaten with the hyper palatable chips. Some of the ways I love using avocado or guacamole is putting it on my eggs or on my salad or on chili. So good, so flavorful and really helps to boost the overall satiety of the meal. Okay, the fourth item is red meat in general. Now red meat is often assumed as a no-no when looking to achieve a weight loss goal because it tends to be a little bit higher in fat than other leaner proteins like chicken or turkey. But red meat specifically rates very high on the satiety index, which is a measurement of how much something makes you feel full and satisfied. In fact, other than fish, it's the highest scoring protein. This means that eating red meat like ground beef, for example, can really help to prevent hunger and cravings. And that tends to be the biggest hindrance with achieving a weight loss goal is feeling hungry. Because when we feel hungry, we're typically going to seek out foods that satisfy a craving rather than the hunger. And typically cravings are going to be driven by sugary starchy foods. So including foods that really help to boost the overall satiety and prevent hunger, like with ground beef or fish for that matter, can help to eliminate one of the biggest barriers to achieving a weight loss goal. Okay, the fifth forbidden food is full fat dairy products. Similar to the cheese discussion, but more broadly, all of the whole fat dairy, including whole fat yogurts and whole fat milks. Whole fat dairy products are often assumed to not be a good option because it obviously is going to be higher in fat and therefore higher in calories. But this brings us to something in the scientific community called the full fat dairy paradox. Because crazy enough, full fat dairy has actually been found to be neutral or helpful for achieving a weight loss goal. This has been a bit baffling for a lot of scientists because it would be assumed that because it is higher fat and higher in calories, it wouldn't be as good as the low fat variety for helping to achieve a weight loss goal. But it's exactly because full fat dairy products are rich in high quality fat as well as protein that it is so helpful. Because that combination of fat and protein helps to raise our satiety hormones, peptide YY and CCK, which tells our brain we're full, we're satisfied and we don't need to keep eating. Another study found that those who ate the most whole fat dairy products actually had the lowest cases of obesity. Now, typically these are observational studies, so they aren't as strong as more clinical trials, but study after study is coming to the same conclusion that whole fat dairy products aren't actually bad for a weight loss goal, which is why you're getting titles like this. Is it time to stop skimming over full fat dairy? from Harvard, or the case against low fat milk is stronger than ever from time, or how full fat dairy helps keep you lean by very well fit. So assuming that you aren't lactose intolerant, you could experiment with a variety of whole fat dairy products, as long as you're not pairing them with really high glycemic load processed grains and sugars. Milk mixed with sugar to create ice cream, not so beneficial for a weight loss goal. <laughs> now, a lot of the things I mentioned in today's video can be found on Thrive Market and shipped directly to your door. So if you want that 30% discount, plus a free gift valued up to $60, make sure you head over to Thrive market.com forward slash autumn baits. Or you can click on the link in the description box down below so you don't miss out. Now, one of my favorite full fat dairy products for achieving a weight loss goal is cottage cheese because it is so high in protein. It's so satisfying and so simple to put together. In fact, I have five really easy ways that you can use cottage cheese with this video next. Also, if you're new to my channel and you love this science backed information, make sure you subscribe right here. Come out new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. All right, guys, thanks so much for tuning in and I'll see you in my next video.